Hey guys, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School, back in Lightroom once again. And today, as you read above, I'm going to show you how to create an HDR image in Lightroom without ever leaving Lightroom with a plugin called Infuse. It's been around for a while, but I just discovered it. So if I just discovered, maybe lots of you haven't discovered it yet. So I'm going to show you this beautiful thing. It's awesome for improving your HDR workflow. All right. Now you follow the instructions above and we're at the point where we need to grab the plugin and in, put it into Lightroom. So let's do that right now. Go into File, Plugin Manager, and in, in my case you see that the Infuse plugin is already there, but in your case um, it won't be. So you need to click on the Add button here and then just go get it on your computer wherever you save that folder. All right. So get to the Plugins folder, not the Applications folder. That's really important. So the second one you downloaded from my instructions. Once that's done, um, you'll have to, uh, you won't have to, but this is where you'll actually put the uh, serial number uh, if you made a donation. Now, uh, if you haven't made a donation and you just want to give it a try, you don't need to put anything in there. And then just click Done. This is where you'll have to come back and put a serial number uh, if ever you do decide to make a donation. All right. Once you click done, the plugin is installed. I suggest you restart Lightroom. And then once Lightroom is restarted, what you need to do is select your HDR images, actually your bracketed images to make an HDR image. And in my case, I'm really pushing the envelope here. I only have two images, one where you see right now where the room is properly exposed, but you have some really severe um, overexposure exp here in the windows and on the light here and on the couch. So I have a second exposure here which has a really really nice, uh, you can actually see the sea outside. So I'm going to give it a try and see how it performs on those two images. So using the shift key I'm selecting both of my images, going into File, Plugin Extras and Blend Exposures using Infuse. All right. When you're, when you're going to be out there, it's going to start with the input, the output tab, and um, I I haven't clicked the first one, which is batch mode, because um, I'm not stacking uh, those images. They're not stacked, and I'm not processing multiple uh, stacks for HDR. But you can. That would be a great option. And save lots of time. For your output file, for your, for the name. Um, First of all, create blended Im image in the same folder as the primary image in the set. That's a given for me. I want I want them all at the same place. And the file name. You can either create a new file name or append some letters or numbers at on the original file name. For me, that's the way I prefer to do it. And I added HDR, which will be put at the end of the file name. You can choose between JPEG and TIFF, the quality, and your color space, so sRGB, Adobe RGB and Profoto. After blending, this is an option that that I really really like. It says re-import image into Lightroom. You want that because after that, once the HDR file is produced, you're going to want to tweak it in the in the develop module. And um, if you want, you can have it opened in a, your uh, Windows or Mac browser as well. Now I also selected to have the metadata copied over to that uh, file, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And we're going to come back to the last box here when we, we look at the last tab in terms of generating a preview. The next tab is Auto Align. Most HDR softwares have that. Just in case uh, there's your tripod moved a little bit or whatnot, it'll auto align that. Make sure that's clicked. And just leave the advanced options to the default settings. They work extremely well that way. In the Infuse tab, um, the default options were 1 and 0.2 in terms of saturation weight. I actually increased it to 0.3 and thought it was a little bit better for the images that I was creating. But you can play with that and see how it works. Um, I haven't touched any of the advanced options, but didn't see the need to do that. Last tab, Configuration. This is really, really important. If you want this to work, you need to go and select the application. The first uh, software I asked you to download, which wasn't the plugin, which was the application itself, you need to go find it on your system. It'll usually be in the program files and it'll be a folder called uh, and blend and fuse. So you'll go here, 
into program files. Let's go into local disk, program files, and uh, embed infuse. And it's really important to select the bin folder. If you just select embed and, embed and fuse, it won't work. You need to select the bin folder. Click OK, and you can see the path here. Preview. I'm coming back to this little preview box at the bottom here. This is where it all comes down to. If you want to see a, a preview before the whole HDR processing, um, you can actually choose in which application you want to see that preview in. I selected, I selected Firefox just as a default. I rarely will use that preview option, but uh, it's there if ever. So I actually chose where uh, my exec file for Firefox was. Preview size, you select it. By default, it's 500 pixels. And you will we'll have to click preview, generate preview. You'll have to click that box because it's not clicked by default. And if you want to see that preview, you just need to click the generate preview button. All right. It does take a little while to generate the preview, so that's why I don't really use it. I might as well just uh, have it all done. Now, once all, all that's done, the next time around when you process an image, you won't have to go through all that process. It saves those. So, um, And actually, what you can also do here is save current settings as a new preset, and you'll have it as a preset. That's a really cool option. And then once that's all done, just click OK and uh, let the magic work. Now, this is an HDR image being created, so it does take a little bit of time. It'll take about a minute or so, um, and then it will re-import that uh, final HDR image right into your film strip at the bottom here. All right, so it's done. Now, here is the HDR image. Not bad. So we have the room properly exposed. The light is back down and uh, not overexposed. We see the ocean in the background here. Let's look at the first shot and the HDR image. First shot. HDR image did a pretty good job also in getting those blues coming from the the sunlight into the room uh, that came from the couches if I zoom in here you can see that that was all overexposed before as you can see here and we went and got those blues from the underexposed image and it actually did a really really good job here so I'm really happy with the result and then I can just go and tweak it straight into the develop module and have a final image after that so this is infuse in Lightroom never have to leave Lightroom again for HDR this is Yannick signing out for Yannick's photo school have a great day